It was a hot night in Minneapolis exactly two years ago when George Floyd took his final breaths under the knee of police officer Derek Chauvin. Chauvin, the first of four officers convicted in his death, sentenced to 22 and a half years in prison. The court commits you to the custody of the Commissioner of Corrections for a period of 270 months. That's 270. But the image of Floyd's death was seared into the collective memory of a nation, an image that lit a fire under the issue of police misconduct and overly aggressive policing of black and brown communities. Coast to coast, protests springing up and loud calls for police reform echoing. You know, something changed here in Minneapolis, May 25th, 2020, that galvanized people all across America. National Urban League CEO Mark Morial agrees on this second anniversary of Floyd's death. Uh, spurred commitments, it spurred action. It spurred uh, optimism that the country finally would begin to confront this legacy of racial justice and structural injustice. There's no doubt that uh, there was a, a, an awakening, if you will. Unfortunately, says Morial, that awakening also had a backlash. That backlash has uh, elevated and animated itself in this rise in hate crimes, uh, this rise in hate induced violence violence as we saw uh, in Buffalo. Uh, so that's part of this picture as well. Jen Veen Wong of the Legal Aid Society's Cop Accountability Project also says Floyd's death sparked some progress. And since that time and in 2020 and in 2021, we have seen a slate of legislation pass um, and promises made about changes that were going to be made with respect to police misconduct and discipline. So there have been promises, there has been some progress, but I don't think that the work is done. Back in Minneapolis, a fundraiser is planned on Thursday to preserve the many protest offerings left at the corner of 38th and Chicago Street where Floyd died.